Our next goal is to learn how to put joists into our structure. In reality, a joist is really no more than a beam. And the placement of this is really going to be almost identical to how we placed our beams in. One of the things that I find that people tend to do is when they first think about using joists, they'll come up here and try to use the truss tool instead of actually doing a joist. And that's really a mistake. The truss tool will put these absolutely massive trusses going across your building with these incredibly strong structural shapes. And it's not really what you want to use. In reality, whenever we're going to be placing a joist in, all it really is is a beam. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move into our level two floor plan. Then we're going to move over here to the right hand side. And once again, we're going to come up here and select on beam system. Right now, it's given us a listing of this 14K6, and that's probably going to be the right size for us. And what this 14K6 actually is, it happens to be a joist shape. Now, if you wanted to be able to add in different sort of shapes and sizes, that sort of thing, this is essentially just a beam at this point, and you just have to load a beam into your project by coming in here to structure and beam, and then loading in a beam family. And then you'd be able to find it underneath your structural beams, just like the rest of the beams are located at. Now, let me go ahead and start to drop these joists in. And there is one key thing to remember when we're going to be dropping the joist in, which is going to be slightly different than our beams. So we'll come up here to structure. Once again, we'll just do a beam system. This 14K6, which is already loaded into the project, is just perfect for what we want to do. The fixed distance is fine of six feet. The justification I like. So we'll just go ahead and move our mouse here into the inside. We can see some dashed lines that are going across. This is the direction I want it to go. I will point out that if you move over to the left side or to the right side, it's going to go up and down. But in this case, I'd rather expand in this direction. So go ahead and just pick up here toward the top and click. And it'll go ahead and drop those joists into the project. Now, if we take a look at this in a 3D view now, we can kind of zoom in here, and it's a little bit difficult to see, but what's going on here is that the top of the joists are actually flush with the top of the beams. And how joists work is we really want to have the joists sitting on top of the beams because the beams are what are going to be supporting those joists. And this is what's slightly different from what we did before whenever we were talking about beams. What we're going to need to do is just come up here to the big green check mark in order to finish the command that we've been activating. If it says quit sketch, just hit quit sketch, all right? You should have a screen that looks like this. Once you get to this point, move your mouse until you see the dashed lines show up. And you could do this in a plan view as well if you wished. When you see those dashed lines, just click. They'll highlight in a darker blue or a purplish color. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to offset this a certain height. In this case, let's just go ahead and offset this off the level two and a half inches. This is going to raise these joists up high enough that they're going to actually be sitting on top of the beams instead of dying into the beams. And we'll click on Apply. Joists are used to span large distances in Revit structure and can be placed very much like beams inside of the software.